Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Still a little sick. Today, we're going to be taking down Imitation Game once again. And this time, we are only, only going to use Scorchers. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fully boost up my Scorcher Health Tribe. And we're going to have a little fun here. Because my Scorchers will have... Drum roll. Hold up. Just... Okay, drum roll. My Scorchers will have about 74 thousand HP which is insane and some people with health statues were able to get their HP of the scorcher over a thousand guys which is crazy um okay imitation game stage one let's drop our scorchers they're gonna have so much HP we're just gonna hold off for the hero for now but we'll drop our hero a little bit later so yeah my 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 raw crystal storage is about to fill up fully maxed out tribes I believe the raw crystals max out at the storage. The capacity of the storage maxes out at 4,600, and I was at 4,450. So I was definitely getting close to the maxed limit. Um, but yeah, stage one, or what is it? Stage. It, it is a stage, guys, but base one, player one, because imitation game, Hammerman steals these bases, which is not cool, Hammerman. Copyright infringement. <laughs> anyway, I just, I love Scorchers. If you guys don't know, I used to be such a big Scorcher fan. This boom cannon can't do anything to my Scorcher. I could have shocked my Scorcher multiple times and we would have still been fine. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, I used to be such a big fan of all Scorchers. I used them all the time. And then I started pushing and I... I, I slowly, slowly I had to stop using Scorchers because you can't use Scorchers on high ice bases or bases that have multiple grapplers or doom cannons or even damage amplifiers. Like, you can do it, but the whole point of using Scorchers... Okay, well, okay, I have to talk about this first. Endless Reserves kind of defeats the purpose of using Scorchers or... Uh, so, if you have endless reserves, don't even use Scorchers, unless you want to. I mean, go for it. They're nice and easy to use. You just drop them and let them go. But what I was saying, guys, is when I used to use Scorchers, I used them because I would, not, I would try to not have any losses, so I wouldn't have to spend 50 minutes waiting for troops to retrain, and I wouldn't have to spend diamonds. So that's kind of why a lot of people used Scorchers. But now with Endless Reserves, if you have Endless Reserves, you don't care for Scorcher Dice because you can just instant instant train them up again. So I kind of stopped using Scorchers when Endless Reserves came out and when I started my VP push, which was a long time ago. But yeah, so I'm just kind of happy. I'm happy to be using all Scorchers again because it is a very fun strategy especially when you, you you can just drop them and let them go guys you don't have to worry about them dying because each scorcher has the hp of a small headquarters <laughs> and it's so funny guys one of these scorchers has the same amount of hp as probably this headquarters which is which is crazy anyway enough about that and Enough about fan boring about Scorchers, guys. Uh, let's hit attack. We'll keep doing it. We have four attacks left. I'm going to do it with all Scorchers, but hopefully we will be able to win. I haven't seen Stage 7 or Stage 6 yet, so I don't know how tough it is. We do have a grappler hook, and I've got an iFunny post, guys. I haven't been on iFunny in ages. I have 999 plus notifications. But there's a couple ways to deal with grappler hooks. One is just to drop a smoke under it. So all the scorches are going to clump up. And then when the smoke is about to wear off, you just unload a shock. And they'll kind of help you out. Or you could just take it out of gumbo energy at a time. Or you could shock it. Shocking the grappler is probably not the best idea. Because it'll just undo itself. And usually you'll want to shock boom cannons, cannons, or, or shock launchers. Stuff that will hurt your troop combination. Now, shock launchers won't hurt your Scorchers. They'll just slow them down so uh, defenses like cannons and boom cannons can kill your Scorchers. But at this point, I'm not worried about losing any Scorchers. Because this stage, we have... And I accidentally dropped a shock. But we were able to get like 8 boxes of critters down. That goes to show you how awesome all Scorchers is. Okay, guys. Stage 6 is a little ugly. We have some boosted up ice, which is not good. We have a grappler hook. 
and we also have a shock blaster. Now you don't have to worry about shock blasters too much, but you do have to worry about grapple hooks. Here's what I'm gonna do ahead of time. I'm gonna take down this shock launcher because the shock launcher, like I said before, is gonna slow up my troops, drop my scorchers, drop my hero. Uh, I do not like that grapple hook. It's gonna bring him in and my scorcher is gonna get fried. 70,000 HP and look how fast they are dying. So we'll get some shocks down to stop those very, very, very ugly boom cannons. And all those scorches are taking splash together. I just want another one for a shock. I did not see I could get all. Okay, so you can get all three of the boom cannons in one shock, but I made a small mistake. We are starting to lose our scorchers, and we may actually lose on this stage. So here's what we're going to do. We're gonna drop some critters. We'll, we'll try to use critters. At this point, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting to lose this stage, so uh, I, I'm not used to Scorches. It's a lot better with more Gumboat Energy, where you can drop an initial shock. Maybe taking down the shock launcher ahead of time was not the brightest move, but you know what? We do have a Scorcher roaming out there. We could land one more. Uh, I might even land one more just because I can, and just to deal a little bit more damage, because I don't care. Actually... Yeah, I can land one more. I was like, okay, I can land two more, but no, it's not true. Um, I might as well, and I don't care about gold at this point, and I have endless reserve, so it's, I don't care if I lose my Scorcher. So, uh, you know, even with 70,000 HP, they'll still die very, very quickly. So, you just kind of have to watch out, I guess, for those little death sections when there's a lot of defenses all in one shock. Or a lot of defenses all in one clump, I should say. So we gotta take down, we gotta take down this shock blaster because eventually that shock blaster is actually gonna hurt me because it's behind the headquarters and we're using scorchers, so it's just gonna stop me later on. At this point in time, I'm just gonna try to get one more. Uh, you know what? We'll just let him go. I don't care too much if he dies. We're just gonna keep on loading energy onto the shock blaster, so I have to. I have to solo stage 7 on boosted. Now, I haven't seen stage 7, but there are definitely times when stage 6 is harder than stage 7. Usually, stage 7 has more ice than stage 6, but I can defeat an ice base just fine. It's the prototypes. Grapple hooks and doom cannons are the biggest threats to all scorchers, so I'm hoping this next base kind of spread out a little bit and no ice. Yeah, should be. Come on, just one more. I just need that. I just wanted to drop one more. Okay, good. We'll get artillery down. And there we go. So, hopefully, I'll be able to beat stage seven. We'll load up our troops. It takes like half a million gold, did it say? To train up a full army of scorchers, which is crazy. And I'm not even sure battle orders is the best ability to bring for scorchers. All scorchers, guys. I don't know if it is. Like I said before, guys, I haven't used all Scorchers. I would guess Universal Remote and Battle Orders would be both pretty good. But we'll, we'll scout up to next base and kind of plan it out a little bit better instead of just rushing in and just hoping that we'll beat it. So that's kind of what I did for Stage 6. I just kind of hit attack and was like, okay, I might as well try. Like, I don't care, but I, I'm just going to try planning it out a little bit better. There we go. Nice. Oh, that Scorcher was about to die. Okay. How are we going to beat stage seven? Let's uh, hit scout here and one attack. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I was expecting much worse, but uh, this is not what you want to see. Boom cannons surrounding the headquarters. That's the worst ever. And I honestly do not feel like failing stage seven imitation game today. So... We have to we have to plan this out. Okay, guys, there's a very low chance I can beat this base, so I'm gonna have a little fun instead. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna grab explosive charge and I'm gonna hit attack. Now you guys love explosive charge, so I'm just how I'm just making you guys happy. Um, but yeah, chances are I'm not gonna be able to beat this. There's a very low chance. We're getting critters down. Uh, stupid shot launcher, guys. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. We got to start unloading energy on the boom cannons behind. And we'll drop. Oh, I was hoping she would uh, she would hit that shock launcher. We need the shock launcher to go. And we'll drop a flare over here. Uh, shock launcher is down. We'll get a smoke. We'll drop an artillery here. And an artillery here to take down that. And we'll kind of walk around the side of the base we do want to take down the shield generator uh hopefully my troops can take it down pretty fast we'll drop a shot a flare over we'll get some critters down and i'm tempted just to flare to the headquarters but that's not gonna oh my gosh did you see that shock death shock was so beautiful i'm not gonna do it and hopefully my uh, ever spark will target good she'll take down that we a uh, boom cannon is gone uh troops I, I'm, I'm looking at my phone here it's a little it's a, it's a weird setup i want i want ever spark to target the boom cannons there and i don't want to spend one on a flare but wow this is a maxed out explosive charge by the way guys and it is very strong with all scorchers i'm just now seeing it's cheap effective and we are going to be at stage seven with all scorchers which is a huge accomplishment so I'm going to do some destroying some NPC bases to end off the episode because you know what? Destroying NPC bases is always a fun end to an episode. Was that a level 58 NPC base? That is very rare. You don't normally see a lower level NPC base. So looking around, it looks like I pretty much destroyed all of the NPC bases let's collect our reward and let's do one player base just because I can guys just to have a little fun uh, and, and I just hit attack and I'm just going straight and I don't care I, I don't care if I lose but I am because I'm not playing this out well what am I doing okay <laughs> I'm gonna get slaughtered here guys I have no energy and I'm just watching my troops die Wow <laughs> But it's like a death trap up here. My scorchers, my poor scorchers. I have a little energy, but it's it's pointless now. There's no way I can beat this base. I I I don't know what I was thinking, guys. Just hit attack and try. There are some bases that are impossible with scorchers, which hurts because you're like, okay. Well, on boosted scorchers, I should mention. But that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.